Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Hello, Brittany Ruby Miller. Welcome to the Valder BB Show. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me. Well, I'm so excited to talk with you about Five Star Life that you have written. You're an author, you're a CEO, and I want my audience to know that Brittany Miller, you know, she's got some challenges I think that we can relate to, and I think she's put them all in Five Star Life. Brittany, you have such a busy life, but we live in such a busy time, so my audience, they've got busy lives also. But you took time to write Five Star Life. Tell us what it's about a little bit. Well, uh, you are 100% right. Um, we live busy, chaotic lives, and this is the most chaotic time, you know, of our, of our lives. And I chose to re- write a book um, because I believe that, you know, my restaurants are five stars. I'm second generation. Um, we strive for five stars through uh, a lot of personal journey um, um, and, and healing and faith. It, it, I realized, I came to realize how important it is to have five stars in our lives as well, to strive for five stars, that God wants us to have the best lives we can possibly have. And um, there's not a lot of um, CEOs probably that, that would put out very detailed uh, stories about their lives. And, and that's okay because not everybody's called to write a book. Um, I was, you know, I had a, a lot of trauma growing up and a lot of trauma in my marriage and then a lot of trauma with infertility. And then um, I also talk about the business side, what it was like to protect a legacy and make sure that this company was here for the next 40 years. So it's kind of a hodgepodge of all kinds of life experiences. And, um, and I hope it brings hope and healing to a lot of people. You are CEO of Jeff Ruby, and, and, and you can't play that, downplay that, because this is a culinary empire that you're overseeing that was impacted by the uh, COVID pandemic, like many other businesses. How did you, how did you overcome that? I made the decision. I, I literally, there was a moment when I realized, you know, I don't have time to be depressed I think a lot of fear and anxiety happens when we are bored and, you know, I wasn't bored for sure. And I didn't have time to be depressed. So I chose not to be, uh, that's a lot easier said than done. That's after lots of tools and healing from therapists, you know, you can't just choose. I mean, people need to put in a lot of work and there's a process, but for me during COVID, I knew it was important for my, you know, 650 employees. It was important for my, my family. This is a family owned business. It was our livelihoods. And so, you know, I stepped up and had a great opportunity to, to lobby on the federal level, uh, not also, you know, to not, not just fight for my company, um, but to really have an impact on my industry as well. You say a lot of CEOs wouldn't put this information in a book, but you have professed a faith in God, a faith in belief, a faith in faith. What allows you to say that? Because, you know, we live in this cancel culture. You say the first wrong thing and you're out. You know, I I made the crazy decision to write a tell all about myself. (laughs) (laughs) Um, The only reason why I, I chose to fight for my marriage and the only reason why I chose to fight for my life was because of other uh, uh, faithful women before me who shared their story. As I was going through trauma of infidelity and even as I was going through the trauma of infertility, which a lot of people don't talk about because it can be very embarrassing and there's a lot of shame with that with women. Um, I wouldn't be here without God and with those people in my life. And, um, you know, we have a, we take a very different approach to leadership in my company. And we do that through transformational leadership where, you know, we talk about, um, suicide. We talk about depression. We talk about these things. It's a safe environment because, you know, I, I, again, I've been in this business for, for a very, very long time. Um, and I've been to countless funerals for suicide and overdose and, uh, we've got to stop the stigma. We've got to start, you know, being real with people. And this was the ex- the way in the platform for me to do that. Yesterday, I was listening to a CD from the Catholic Church. And one of the things he said that stood out to me is we have made marriage, sex, infidelity, infertility. We've made them the elephant in the room, but they're just a part of life. 
And the majority of people listening have dealt with it. And that's what I realized because when you go through it, things like that in life, people come out of the woodworks and in a good way. Um, you know, my, my pastor's wife, I will never forget the phone call and I'm devastated crying to her on the phone. And she says, if you can fight for your marriage and if you can stay in it, you will have the most rock solid marriage that you could ever imagine. And I thought that that was as foreign as her telling me that the sky was green and she was 100% right. And four beautiful children now, uh, generations that are saved because of that. Um, but again, you know, people don't like to talk about it because it's embarrassing. Not everybody should talk about it. I don't think everybody should go, you know, yelling from the rooftops, you know, all of their crazy stories. But if you do get into a position where, you know, I've had 10 years of healing and, and I'm, I'm so happy with my life, then it's a gift because I, I was given many gifts uh, by other people being bold and sharing their testimonies with me as well. Getting a copy of The Five Star Life and reading it, what is in there to put people on the road to their five-star life? It's nice reading about yours, but people say, what about me? I think it really, uh, one, I give experiences that helped me. We learn through stories, you know, and you, you talk about faith and how did Jesus teach? He told stories. You know, I don't give advice to other people. I just share what worked for me. And, and that's how we help each other, I think. Um, and so, you know, I think that the advice is, is to, even if you're in the pits of hell and you're, you know, depressed every day because of what's going on, you can choose to believe that you deserve five stars. That's the first step is, is believe that you're destined and believe that God has a purpose for you here on earth. How do you, how do you believe that? Well, then you've got to get help. And that's why I wrote my book. And so, you know, and then people who, you know, who are qualified, I always say, if you go to a therapist, make sure you interview that therapist the same way you interview a new hire, because there's some really bad ones out there. And then there's some really great ones. Uh, I talk a little bit about that as well. And so just a lot of tips and things that I think can really help. And I know it can. We've had some great testimonies of people who have read the book already who are on their way to their five star life. Well, I think that's a great opportunity to let my audience know that your new book, Five Star Life, it has a forward by Kathleen Gifford, and it got five stars in most reviews. So you're on to something. My audience wants to find out more about your restaurants, Brittany, or the book itself. Where would you send them? The book, uh, the restaurants, jeffruby.com. And we're scattered throughout the Midwest. And the book's available on Amazon.com. It could be overnighted to your house, soon to be on Audible and um, on Kindle as well. I want to thank you so much, Brittany, for stopping by the Valder BB Show to talk about your book, Five Star Life. And I think we should all want a five star life, whatever that means to each of us. Brittany Ruby Miller is my guest today. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television, and this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.